Welcome to 5 Minute School and in today's video we'll be discussing the Frank Starling mechanism. So this is basically a law uh, which defines how well the cardiomyocytes respond to increased volume. But before we discuss it in a bit more depth and detail, we need to know um, the following definitions. So we have um, end diastolic volume, which is the volume of blood in the ventricles before contraction. And we also need to know preload, and this is the end diastolic pressure, which is stretching the walls of the ventricles to their great their greatest geometrical dimensions. So you can imagine preload as the pressure which is on the cardiomyocytes due to them being uh, stretched because of the amount of blood which is in the ventricles. It is the pressure which is on these cardiomyocytes of the wall of the heart. Stroke volume is the volume of blood ejected from the heart per heartbeat and we mentioned this in a previous video. So stroke volume and preload are directly proportional to each other. This, sig this symbol here means directly proportional. So basically um, the volume of blood ejected from the heart per heartbeat is proportional to the pressure which is uh, stretching the walls of the ventricles. So these are related. Now how does this relate to the Frank Starling mechanism? Well, the Frank Starling mechanism basically means if you have a greater amount of blood um, in the ventricles, this causes an increase in the contractile strength of the ventricles and therefore will increase stroke volume. So will increase the amount of blood ejected from the heart per heartbeat. So just to go over again, uh, the greater the volume in the ventricles, this increases the contractile strength of the ventricles and therefore will increase the stroke volume, so the amount of blood which leaves the heart. Now why does this occur? This occurs because the myocardium will become more stretched, so if the volume, the end diastolic volume is higher, so if there's more volume of blood in the ventricles, the myocardium will become more stretched out, this is because of a greater volume, and therefore this will increase the sarcomere length, because remember they're stretched out. So an increased sarcomere length will result in increased sensitivity to calcium ions, and therefore this will result in a much stronger contraction. Okay, now that's everything I want to discuss in today's video on the Frank Starling mechanisms. We're going to have several more videos um, in relation to various intrinsic and e extrinsic factors um, in terms of the contraction of the heart. And we'll also be making videos on venous return and the um, total peripheral resistance as well. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you find this video useful.